So let's have a look at neodymium magnets. And I have two magnets right here. And to start, neodymium magnets are, of course, made from the rare earth metal neodymium. And they're also made with some iron and boron. And then that you get these rare earth neodymium magnets like the ones here. And the strength of a neodymium magnet is usually measured by its N rating. And usually it's the letter N followed by a two digit number. So in common terms, usually most magnets out there have a rating of N38 or N45 or like these ones, these are N50. And the higher that value is, the stronger the magnet is. Now supposedly the strongest N rating is around N60, but you can't find a magnet like that. But supposedly there are ones that do go that high. Now, these magnets here may look a little small, but don't let the size of a neodymium magnet fool you. Even though these magnets may appear small, they are very powerful. And like I said, these have a rating of N50, and neodymium is the strongest kind of magnet you can have in the world. So, with that, with an N50 rating, according to the manufacturer, these magnets, one of these magnets, can provide a pulling force of up to 250 pounds. Now, that of course is based on laboratory conditions and generally you probably will not get that kind of pulling force with whatever you use based on factors like if there's if it's not making good contact with the metal or coatings on the metals or anything like that and it also depends on how ferromagnetic the material is that's usually your metals like iron boron and some others and so depending on those and also how thick the material is determines how much pulling force a magnet can exert on it and so what I'm going to do here see I've got two magnets together right now this is my little magnetic stick so I can store my magnets I've actually got four of these but I've got two of them out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gloves on here. Now there's nothing wrong with touching a, a neodymium magnet with your bare hands. It's not going to do anything to you. The reason I'm using gloves is again because of how powerful these magnets are. Because these are snow gloves so they've got some padding in them. But if these magnets like you know come together on my hand or something it's not going to really hurt or anything like that it's going to soften the uh, the attraction so what we're going to do and generally when you're separating strong magnets with something like this you basically just use opposing forces so I push down on one pull up on the other and then I separate it so now I've got my two separate magnets and they're trying to pull each other so I'm going to put one aside so I'm just left with this one and actually even for the size of this one this magnet is heavy with all that metal it's just a big hunk of metal so it's got quite a bit of weight to it I'm going to put this stuff away over to the side like I say it's just it's a chunk of metal but even though it's small yes it does have a lot of power to it so now let's start bringing some objects for this to attract here. And here we are again. I brought some tools over to show how the different metals and also the different thicknesses of the metals change the attraction of a magnet. So here I've got my neodymium magnet back. And we'll start with something basic like a Phillips screwdriver. sticks on there pretty well. Can't get it off. 
but it is generally pretty easy to pull off yes it does have some attraction but it's not on there that hard now say we put something like some needle nose pliers on it again it'll hold on there pretty well this takes a little more force to pull off because there's more magnetic material here there's more area for it to grab on since unlike the screwdriver it's not cylindrical so it takes a little more pull that off and say you've got your little multi-tools when you're on hiking plenty of metal here too again now this one has a little more because we're gradually going up here in the pulling force so I've got a little more <clears throat> see there's a lot of attraction here uh, with that because there's so much metal here there's some. and then probably the most magnetic material here is these big pair of pliers And you'll know when these go on because it'll slap like that <laughs> and that magnet's definitely not going anywhere right now Let's see that and that's got quite a bit <laughs> but I'll just leave it on there for now because what I'll do is not only can it hold this, but it can hold plenty of other things all at the same time. In fact, that plier is not even touching the magnet, it's going through the, the multi-tool all the way to it. You see, I can't get any of those things off. There's so much magnetic force there holding those all together. Now let me see if I can pull these all off now. Okay, off you go. And off you go. Off. And then and there's this. Like I say, this is really does not like to come off. That <laughs> is what a neodymium magnet can do. Very strong stuff. <laughs>